mean, you just gotta have, you know, grit, intensity, and passion and effort. I mean, you can't have a day off or you, your offensive line can't be lackadaisical. You always gotta be trying to get better. I know Donnie Barclay brings it every week in Mountaineer Field and wherever else we're playing, but he brings it every day in practice, and he's just been a tremendous asset to his football program. It might be hard to believe, but becoming a football player was not in Donnie Barkley's plans as a young boy. Like, I didn't start playing football until seventh grade, and uh, I was running to like baseball and basketball, so I wasn't in the college football a lot. He, he couldn't play when he was little because he was always bigger, so he really never started playing until he was in seventh grade. And, but he, I was always looking forward to playing, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, he asked me if there was a weight limit when he got in high school, and I said, no, you can be whatever you want, big as you want, it'll be fine. Once Donnie's love for football emerged, his love for West Virginia football soon followed. I went to a couple of places just getting recruited around the East Coast, and um, when I came here, um, it was just a different atmosphere. I mean. I saw guys flying around that I didn't see at any other practice at any other college, and just the intensity was so much higher. And he said, Mom, this is football. This is it. I'm going here if they ask me. And that was it. Good Plus night. having the ties with his uncle going here. Donnie's uncle is Al Pazula, a standout defensive lineman who played for the Mountaineers in the late 70s. And he's like, oh, yeah, I wish I was still there. You know, it was so much fun. but. He always wanted to go to a bowl game because he's like, you don't understand how lucky you are. I mean, he loves it a lot, and, and um, he loves to come back here to the games and support us. And he just he considers it home. He's the guy uh, that sets the tempo. He's the guy that I know all the other players rally around. And what he brings to our program is a, is a, is a great workman-like mythology of work, I mean, just, just about how he practices, how he plays. He's blue collar, he is a, a very intense young man on the field and a gentle giant off the field and I just love him. I think he has a lot of football ahead of him. He's been very, very good and he's going to get nothing but better. You play for West Virginia, like, so many people look up to you and, and like you don't even know some of the people but they're coming out of their way just to you know, say, you know, hey, good luck. You know, I've seen you out there, I've seen you on TV, I've seen you doing this, but it just means a lot because, you know, you mean so much to them, and um, they're being so nice to you, and, and um, you know, no, they, we don't got a pro team here, so everyone cares about us, and, you know, that means a lot, and, you know, just to play for West Virginia, there's so much pride in this program that, you know, you go out there for a reason, you got to win whenever you go out there, that's the main goal, it's just something special.